My name is Joel Fagens. I'm a professor at Berkeley, and I'm a plasma physicist, but I've drifted off into a very strange field in which we use antimatter plasmas to make anti-hydrogen atoms. We trap those atoms and we study their optical properties and also their gravitational properties. There are lots of interesting reasons to study antimatter, but particularly the reason why we want to study antimatter has to do with something called the baryogenesis problem, which is a problem that stems from the Big Bang. When the Big Bang occurred, it should have made absolutely equal amounts of matter and antimatter. Now, matter and antimatter don't coexist. If they touch each other, they annihilate, they blow up. All of this matter and antimatter should have annihilated and all of it should have turned into energy. Yet, that didn't happen. And that must have meant that there was just a little bit more matter created than antimatter. So when this mutual annihilation occurred, most of it annihilated, but a little bit of matter was left behind. This is one of the, in many ways, one of the grand problems in physics is to understand the asymmetry between matter and antimatter. There are many, many ways of exploring this question and many, many people are working on it in, in different techniques, but the way we happen to be working on it is through the study of antihydrogen atoms. We start with an antiproton plasma, positron plasma. We join them together. They make antihydrogen atoms. We can wind up with a cloud of about a thousand antiatoms simultaneously inside of this space. And then we can study the antiatom properties by shining lasers at it and looking at the spectra. Hydrogen and antihydrogen should have the same spectra according to the laws of physics. And um, we're try trying to prove that they do or, or much more interestingly discover that they don't. We're also interested in studying the gravitational properties of antihydrogen. We're building a new experiment at CERN in which we hope to certainly establish once and for all that antimatter falls downwards, as everybody expects. And we'd actually like to be able to measure the acceleration constant, the 9.8 meters per second squared. We'd like to be able to measure that to a precision of about 1% with this experiment. Antimatter plasmas are, are done in relatively few places in the world. One of them is with a, another professor, Cliff Serko, down in San Diego. There are some places in Germany that are working with antimatter, and there's CERN where we work with antimatter. So the easiest way for an undergraduate, anyway, to get involved in antimatter is to be a Berkeley student. I do send quite a few Berkeley st students to CERN every summer to work on these sorts of projects. Other than that, you, you have to go to the, the relatively few places that work with antimatter plasmas.